so from what you just saw was a bit of play obviously we've got someone to shake the wheel whilst we've been underneath and inspected we thought it was a track rod and so I have to further inspection it's the inner tie rod so track rod in with screw ons there pop into the hub and that attached to the steering rack normally on these X3s it can be the inner nylon nut so we're gonna start off by stripping it down and going from there so let's get this wheel off so we are gonna loosen our track rod in nut and we're gonna lube up our track rod in on the hub we're gonna take this little plastic arch out here and then we're gonna remove the track rod end and remove the steering gator start by cleaning everything up so we've got our nuts loosened on the track rod end we've cleaned our nut out and we've got a 21 you know stuff on there that's a 24 we're just going to do this one then so now our nut is off we can even use a ball joint splitter or give this side a smack with the hammer a couple of times and the track rod end will pop out so three taps of the hammer on the side that rod end popped out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the tie rod up here with a spanner whilst rotating the track rod end off. So we'll be doing a full rotation and counting because we need to take note of how many turns we've made. So now I'm going to remove that. So we've got our track rod end off and it's just over it in the wheel arch. And I've got 21 because that's how many turns it was to get off. Also remove the nylon lock. Now our track rod right end was seized on there. <coughs> I've got my just heat it up. This bit of the track rod right end. And then started turning it and it cracked off. Now we're just gonna remove this little plastic wheel arch lining. And we can remove this bottom uh, steering angle. Steering rack gator clip. So we've got that plastic trim off, we've got a clip off. Next one to undo is this little clip back here. We're just going to break that one off because we've got a new one to go on. So let's get that clip off and then we're just going to slide this steering gator off. Now we are very blessed with this X3. That is the joint we need to undo just there. Now, on most other cars, in the subframe, there's a slight gap where you've got to get a pair of steels and stuff through and try and get them undone. But this X3 is nice and easy. We go underneath a pair of, well, we use plumbers, plumber pliers. Now, obviously, it's a snap on. And if you're a mechanic, don't have a pair of these, then it's not wrong with you but 90% of your mechanics will have a pair of these in his toolbox. And these are normally anti-clockwise to undo. So we're just gonna crack that off now. So we have got a new one on. Nice and shiny and new. So you get that as tight as you can. If we're not 100% sure this is gonna fix the problem, but normally inside here is a little nylon nuts. And sometimes they fail. Obviously, that is a mainly the job is that. So, obviously, 50 50, 50 50 chance that this is going to fix the issue. Obviously, we're going to start with the cheaper option and we'll go from there. So, to the inner boot, got a CD boot to it, got a CD boot, put it around, lock that in as tight as you can, and that's it. You just close the pair of these. We've got that inner clip on, pulled nice and tight. So we couldn't get our tool down onto it, so we went side out with a pair of side cutters and just squeeze that together. Now we're going to put on our clip here. Our CV gator is all back on. Next, we're going to thread this nut all the way to the end. And then we're going to put our track rod in back on using the counts 
obviously make sure you put this nut on first. You see a lot of people make this mistake and they put the track rod end on the bark. I've got to take it back off and put the nut back on. So we're going to thread that all the way to the end. I personally like to put a bit of copper slip on here as well. Obviously some people might not rate it but when it comes to tracking it makes the job a whole lot easier. So I'm going to thread that all the way to the end bit noisy in here today, we've got someone running up a car trying to bleed the cooling system. The tech next to me has got the radio on. So that's that threaded all the way to the end. Track rod, track rod ends back on. Sorry, got interrupted there. Um, talking track rod ends, I've gone on the MOT bay. Had the garage just fitted a track rod into a jag up in there, but on the bottom the thread comes down and there's a washer and then the nut goes on. They haven't put the washer on so the nut just pull through into the hub and it's shaking like a cunt. So obviously we put up to 21 threads. Don't forget your lock and ring. We're gonna push that down there. And then we're gonna tighten this nut back down. Right into it. So we're gonna put a spanner on here hold it in place and then we're going to tighten that. So guys, boot's all on, chart red end is all on, I've got the cover back on. My next bit will be to put the wheel on and we're going to test the play again. So let's do that. So guys, we've got no more knocking on this side. If you ever get the knocking still on that side, then take it to the dealer. There's a nylon nut in, the, nut in there, which tends to wear. It's a common fault on the X3s. Obviously, this will probably soon go as well. But I hope this video has helped, guys. And we'll catch you in the next one.